What's up guys, this is my two first video. We gonna solve the famous problem, the first missing positive. It's usually asked by the top tech company like Amazon. Okay, so let's move to the description. Okay, so given an insorted integer array nums, uh, find the smallest missing positive integer. So let's take some examples. The first example we have this array of one, two, and zero, and the first missing positive integer is three. Move on to a second example. In this case, the uh, the first missing positive integer is one. Okay, so let's think how can we solve this problem. Okay, one important thing to notice is uh, like we have at most n elements. It's the length of the array. So uh, the result will be between one and n plus one as the n is the length of the array. So uh, for this first example, uh, the first missing positive integer is one and one is between one and n plus one. In this case, we have uh, four elements. So n is equal to four. Uh, n plus one is equal to five. So the result five is between one and n plus one, five. In this case okay move on now to a brute force solution a brute force solution would be uh, like if we use two nested loops and try to figure out the first missing positive integer to the array so like it's important to remember that the result is between one and n plus one so we will use two nested loops the first loop will uh, loop between 1 and n plus 1 and for each possible result we will check if uh, this possible result exists in the array or not so if uh, this element is equal to the possible result so we will return it else we will return n plus 1 and this solution is a big O of n square of time complexity. But let's think about a better solution on how can we reduce the time complexity to big O of n of time complexity. But this better solution, it will be a big O of n of space complexity. Okay, the idea is to use data structure to save the different elements. So like, instead of like, looping through the different elements and uh, in each case test it like we we are going to save the different elements that exist in the array into a data structure and test on them so the idea is to use a set okay so if we have this array one one three the set will be one three and the first missing uh, number is two Okay, this is uh, the pseudocode of this solution. So we will loop through the different elements of the array and add them to the set. And uh, second, we are going to loop through the different possible results and test if this result exists in the set or not. If yes, we may need to return it. If not, we will return n plus one since the result is between n and n plus one. But let's optimize, try to optimize our solution. Okay. I came up with this solution, but how can we achieve this? The idea is to mimic the set functionality. Okay. But how? We are using the array and an important thing to remember another time is that result is between one and n plus one. So, and uh, it's important to remember also that we can access any element of the array within a, a constant time. So how can we use the, these two points to solve our problem to achieve a big O of one of space complexity? The idea is to use the 
possessions within the array since the array result is at most between 1 and n plus 1 and uh, like if we have like any possible number we will like uh, tag the position of the value of the element the array into the negative value so for this first example we have one one and three we will go th go through the different elements we have one so we will go to the element of index one and we'll, we will assign the negative version of it okay so one one second we will go we will uh, move forward the, this is the second element so we will assign again the negative version of uh, this position so it's also minus one and finally uh, we we can move forward so three so we will assign the negative version of the element at the third position of the array minus three and finally we just need to loop through this array and to return the first the position of the first positive element of the first positive element in the array is at the possession two so that's the result in this case but we have some pre-processing parts that we need to verify so we may need to like be sure that the elements all the elements are between like uh, one and n the length of the array else we may need to solve this problem using some other solution okay so we may need to like test if one exists or not if yes so we will pass else we will return one since it's the two first positive uh, integer and we will loop through the different elements if the element is equal or less to zero we will assign the value of one instead and if uh, the element is bigger than n also we may need to assign the value one to it okay so this result we will find that uh, 50 is uh, bigger than three the length of the array we will assign one uh, and minus five is less than zero so we will assign one to and finally if we will execute the same algorithm to this array we will find that two is the uh, first missing integer and exactly that's the case okay let's move to the implementation so we may need this to solve it okay this is an online python compiler okay so let's create our solution class let's create uh, our function the famous first missing positive function that needs an array as parameter okay uh, the first thing that we may need to do is to get the length of the array to a separate variable and to test and to test and to test if one exists or not and to test if uh, we have an empty array okay so um, if not nouns are uh, not mm, nouns we will return one okay the second thing to do is like to to like change or elements uh, less or equal to zero or bigger than n to one okay so we may need to loop through the different elements okay 
go to test if the element um, is equal to zero or the element we can so less or equal or the element is bigger than n so we may need to assign one to this element and then after doing this we will move to the main part so uh, we need to loop through the different elements again mm. okay so let's get the absolute value of this the element so if so absolute value okay like one or two and then we need to uh, to assign the negative version of the value at the position one so mm, because like of the shift of the indexes I might need to assign the negative version of the uh, of the element and finally we just need to find the first positive uh, element and to return its position okay so finally we may need to loop a third time through the array and test if the element is greater than zero so we may need to return its position we may need to add one because of this shift else if like uh, we didn't find the possession may need to return n plus one n plus one since the result is equal to at most n plus one okay let's execute this by creating a new instance of the solution okay and try to use some relevant examples if, if like okay let's test on another example an empty array using some negative some negative members okay All right, with capital S. Okay. Okay. Great. So for the first example, the two first missing positive number is two. Like we have one, so the first uh, element is two. For an empty array, so uh, the two first element is one. And for this example with the negative elements or elements uh, bigger than the length of the array for in this case we will have three as the first elements that's correct 
so thank you for watching and i hope you like this video